Hi and welcome to video number... I don't know what number this is, so look on the thing. So today I am going to talk about Come On All You Ghosts by Matthew Zapruder. I actually read this for my poetry 311 class last semester and um, I really liked it. If I remember correctly, not everyone really liked these poems very much, but I did. I found them to be really interesting. And I think one of the reasons is because Zapruder really explores the relationship between himself and his father and searching for his father and all these sorts of different things that come up in his poems. And I have dealt with my own father's death so I think that these poems sort of appealed to me on that sort of emotional level. I could relate a lot of things. And other than that I really like the style of Zapruder's poems. I like the way that they don't seem to be cut short anywhere because I always have problems. I just want to go on and on and on when I write poems and then when I edit I want to like cut everything out or sometimes I write really short poems and I feel like I need to add more and I, I don't feel like his poems ever feel that way. I feel like they always end in a place where he wants them to and I admire that and I want to do that because I always it's never good enough for me, I guess. Like, I always want to have more of something or have less of something. I'm just going to read one of my favorite poems out of this book. It's called When It's Sunny They Push the Button. When it's sunny they push the button. And the sky, through the oval aperture, above your head in the form of light that bounces, a little then rests on the walls, and also in the form of whatever colors you can see and maybe, if you're lucky, clouds, pours through, maybe it's obvious, and peacefully alien like a young nun, walking past the local establishments, in a university town in summer, where it's always, despite the superficial changes, the same time. Even the rain feels like rain after the evacuation, and even happiness feels like having survived something I can't remember. The reason why I like this poem so much is because it starts out with something very small, taking a picture, and then everything sort of pours into this picture, and it starts to make you wonder about everything that is in a picture when you look at it, like the light, what was the world outside of that picture, and I really like thinking about that. I think it's really interesting the way that this poem is composed. I think it's so interesting how the poem changes because it begins with when it's sunny, they push the button. That's the first line. I took that to mean, well, when things are nice, you take a picture of it, you want to remember it. But then it says, if your lucky clouds pours through, which sort of makes things darker. It makes the capture more important to me that you're capturing something so sudden. And can clouds even be sudden? Don't they accumulate? I mean, I find it very interesting poem. Thanks for watching, I think this is going to be my last video before my last video, and so I'll see you for my last video. <laughs> Goodbye.